Welcome to this lazy video. For my Strange Colors LCDs video on the main channel, I got these two devices. They both have stopped working, but I found another model. Which is still working. And now I notice a strange effect on the display because of the shutter speed. Here you see the potential that this color display has. LCDs also have a refresh rate. I want to make a main channel video about that, but um, that has to wait until I have a global shutter camera. Anyway, the one I already had was the CSF 4650. With these nice transparent color select buttons and a darker plastic then, this one, the 4650A. It has the same display and probably exactly the same hardware, only the buttons and the display layout are different. It looks like a cheaper version. Another big difference is that the A-less version works on two AA batteries and a button cell as backup, while the version with the A works on three button cells. And the previous owner somehow managed to keep that sticker intact. Looks like it's been peeled off once. Let's take a look at the display, because that's what it's all about. There won't be anything else in this video. So either enjoy or watch something else. Playing now is the demo. It's different than on the a -less version. We'll get back to that at the end of the video. Don't skip to the end of the video! <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, that seems to be the third main difference between the two. It starts up with the home button selected on page 2. Why isn't it the first thing on page 1? And the home is the time and date. The time is wrong, but the date was right. Huh. But more importantly, a lovely animation, which takes quite long. I'll speed it up and then repeat it once more. Sorry for the weird music. It's unpublished and I made it in the late 90s. And now the second animation, selected with one of the three color buttons. This is my favorite of the three. It is a full day cycle. That was dawn, now it's day, ships pass, etc. Because I like this one so much, I won't speed it up. Here's my favorite part, the sunset, of course. Mm -hmm. And it becomes night, with twinkling stars, a lighthouse, and the moon that's also setting, and some dolphins, under the glorious sound of another unpublished track from the late 90s. And then, the second day begins. Someone put a lot of work in this. Nice, right? And the third animation, somewhere in Africa by the looks of it, I'm going to speed up again. Well, what else do we have? This is the world time. Well, if you do this, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is the Lazy Channel. This is not a genuine product demonstration. It's of course all about just staring at the display. Nice big numbers for the calculator. Same as on the other ones. Here you can store your dirty little secrets. <laughs> and then on page one, are a lot of other functions that no one has ever used, probably. But it has nice pixel art, so that's why I show it, of course. It may annoy you that you don't see which buttons I press. But if I tell you that's because this is the lazy channel, I didn't bother placing two cameras. I probably... I misspoke, but this is the lazy channel. Oh, sorry. And here's another weird track from the late 90s, unpublished. 
Here I do Here I am doing a Sorry This was an attempt to get different colors of texts Which I couldn't get working In none of the apps, I should say, I could change the text color for some reason. Maybe I did it wrong. Or it's just not possible on this one. Anyway, this is the schedule function where you can set something in the agenda with all kinds of pixel art business images. No less than 16 pictures to select from. A selection inverts the image, which isn't very clear. For some reason I show the calendar only one second, which is unfortunate, but because it's the little, I'm sorry, and I have no idea what exp is, but uh, they were quite serious that you were actually supposed to use this thing because you can actually even connect it to a computer or something, which is crazy, mm. anyone ever did that? This is the display settings, as you can see. This display is in a very good state, very solid color, so I don't even need to change anything. And there's one nice little hidden secret function, and that is that you can change the start menu to the one that was on the a version. This is way nicer. Why isn't this the default? Anyway, thanks for watching. And I hope the hook the key. Sorry. And yes, this is yet another unpublished track from the late 90s.